Hello, and welcome to the One SJI Diversity Podcast. I'm your host, Tiara Neal, Program Manager for Diversity and Inclusion here at SJI. This month, we'll be talking about holiday traditions around the world. So go grab a cup of hot cocoa, a cup of hot coffee, or whatever beverage of your choice. And we'll take a journey to the inclusive ways that people celebrate the holiday around this time of year. Hopefully, it will cause you to reflect on wonderful memories of your family and maybe adopt a new tradition for yourself. Three Kings Day is celebrated at the end of 12 days of Christmas, which comes a day called Epiphany or Three Kings Day. This holiday is celebrated as the day that three wise men first saw baby Jesus and brought him gifts. On this day in Spain, many children get their Christmas presents. In Puerto Rico, before children go to sleep on January 5th, they leave a box with the hay under their beds so that the kings will leave good presents. In France, a delicious king cake is baked. Bakers will hide a coin, jewel, or a little toy inside. Then there's solstice. The winter solstice occurs around December 21st. It is the shortest day of the year. Many people all over the world participate in festivals and celebration. Long ago, people celebrated lighting bonfires and candles to coax back to the sun. Then there is Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa, which means first fruits, is based on ancient African harvest festivals and celebrates ideals such as family life and unity. During this spiritual holiday, it is celebrated from December 26th to January 1st. Millions of African Americans dressed in special clothes decorate their homes with fruits and vegetables and light a candle holder called a canara. This holiday also celebrates gift giving in the form of homemade gifts as opposed to purchased gifts. Then there is Los Posadas or Las Posadas, which derives from the Spanish word posada, meaning lodging or accommodation. And it refers to the inn from the nativity story. It uses the plural form as the celebration that lasts for nine days called Novena during the Christmas season, which represents nine month pregnancy of Mary, the mother of Jesus. Also around the world, the St. Lucia day, Many also celebrate this within their homes to honor the third century saint on December 13th. Many girls in Sweden dress up as Lucia brides in long white gowns with red sashes and a wreath of burning candles on their heads. They wake up their families by singing songs and bringing them coffee and twisted saffron buns called Lucia cats. Then there is Christmas. People celebrate this Christian holiday by going to religious services, giving gifts, and sharing the day with their families. In some parts of Europe, star singers go caroling, singing special Christmas songs as they walk behind a huge star on a pole. The Christmas festivities in Ireland tend to be more religious in nature rather than being about gifts. Christmas celebrations last from Christmas Eve until January 6th, Epiphany, or Three Kings Day. On December 26th, known as St. Stephen's Day, an Irish tradition that is known as the Wren Boys Procession takes place. Children go from door to door singing, holding a stick that is topped by a holly bush and a wren, They ask for money for the starving wren, which goes into their pockets. In ancient times, a wren was killed and fastened to the stick, but today fake wrens are used. 
The Christmas Eve festivities around the world includes celebrating a holy dinner with family, holding household items in admonishment, and translating stories of love and honor. And of course, is the eight days for which November and December celebrate Hanukkah. Jewish people light a special candle called a menorah. They do it to remember an ancient miracle in which one day worth of oil is burned for eight days in the temple. During Hanukkah, many Jewish people eat special potato cakes called latkes, sing songs, and spin a top called a dreidel to win coins, nuts, or raisins. And of course, each of these traditions are celebrated in various ways with variant types of celebrations between family and friends. The Feast of Seven Fishes is a part of the Italian-American Christmas Eve celebration. Although it is not called that in Italy, it is not a feast in the sense of holiday, but rather a grand meal. Christmas Eve is a vigil or fasting day, and the abundance of seafood reflects the observance of abstinence from meat until the feast of Christmas Day itself. Today, the meal typically consists of seven different seafood dishes. The tradition comes from Southern Italy, where it is known as the Vigil. This celebration commemorates the wait for the midnight birth of baby Jesus. It was introduced in the United States by Southern Italian immigrants in New York City's Little Italy in the late 1800s. The long tradition of eating seafood on Christmas Eve dates from the Roman Catholic tradition of abstaining from eating meat on the eve of the feast of the day, as no meat or animal fat could even be used in such days. Observant Catholics would instead eat fish typically fried in oil. Let us know what your family traditions are, unique ways that you celebrate the holidays, traditions you've adopted from other cultures, or maybe something that you've been passing down through your family heritage. Thank you.